What's up everyone, how are you all doing today? Guided by Jesus here with another Clash Royale video and today we're going to be talking about the balance changes coming live tomorrow August 11th guys, that's right. It's been two months since the last balance changes and we're finally getting a new one which seems like it's going to have a huge impact in the current meta guys. So before we get on to that, can we get 30 likes in today's video? I'm sure we can guys because you guys have just been amazing with the support lately. So let's hop on to the changes that are going to happen. The Night Witch is going to be the first card affected. It's going to have its damage reduced by 9%. The range is going to be reduced by 11%. The bat spawn speed is going to go to 7 seconds instead of 6. The spawns uh, upon death is going to be of 2 bats instead of 3. So huge nerf to the Night Witch. Battle Ram is going to take longer to begin charging and the Barbarians are going to spawn slower. So a nerf to that as well. Graveyard duration is going to be of 9 seconds instead of 10 and it's going to spawn only 15 skeletons overall instead of 17. The Electro Wizard's hit points are going to be decreased by 2%. The heal duration is going to last only 2.5 seconds instead of 3. Mini P.E.K.K.A.'s damage is going to be increased by 4.6%. Expo and Mortar deploy times being 3.5 seconds instead of 4 guys. And the Dark Prince's damage is going to be increased by 6%. Hit speed is going to go to 1.4 seconds instead of 1.5. Ice Wizard's damage is going to increase by 10%. The hit speed uh, going to 1.7 seconds from 1.5 seconds. And the bat count is going to increase from 4 to 5 bats now, guys. So maybe people might start using Dark Prince, Ice Wizard, and bats a lot more. So there's something huge that I want to touch on guys on this video and all of the videos out there that I've been seeing, seeing about the balance changes guys pretty much talk mostly about the interactions of every single card but there is one key thing that I want to talk to you guys about the most. As you guys can see I showed you guys all five of the decks that I've been using and I don't know if you guys noticed or not but all five except for this one deck right here don't have a defensive structure they don't have a defensive building this being the only deck that has a defensive building and that's been something very dominant in the current meta guys I mean this deck just seems to withstand all the changes to the meta it's been there for the longest but um, you know other than that as you guys can see this is my ladder deck right here is the deck I've been using a lot on ladder and it doesn't have a defensive structure and I don't necessarily suffer because of that just because of the fact and I tell you guys why the Night Witch is so dominant this meta it's just so reliable on defense as you guys can see here even though my opponent um, went ahead and backed up his hog rider with level 13 maxed out archers guys I was able to defend pretty well against that hog rider even though it was like a su surprise push I was able to defend pretty well and only take one hit to the tower um, whereas oftentimes if you were to spend you know three elixir four elixir or five elixir on a defensive building um, the opponent is able to either use a spell and help you know his hog rider get past that defensive structure and still get one or two hits in your tower and the great thing about using a night witch instead is that in this case you know it was a surprise play of his part in the beginning of the match but um depending on how i placed that night witch and depending on how i back the night witch up like say i had knight instead you know to place in front of the night witch instead of you know using that log um, which is probably what I would have done if I wasn't caught by surprise. The Night Witch's um, elixir, you know, whatever I spent on the Night Witch is now going to be translated to a counter attack. Um, that elixir that I, you know, invested, uh, not only um, would it help defend, but it would be something that could go on a counter attack within a very strong counter attack because not only does it do massive damage on on the ground but it also has the bats helping you know on air now the fact that the night witch had that amazing you know nerf um which uh, by amazing i mean that it was very drastic uh, people are gonna have to rely a lot more on defensive structures because they won't be able to rely on the night witch so much 
And if they do rely on the Night Witch on defense, it's not going to be such a powerful counter attack, you know. Um, so as you guys could see, we did get that legendary from the cycle and ladder, guys. But yeah, um, now I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit more about the cards that stand out to me the most um, from these changes. Um, Battle Ram, we were seeing a lot of Battle Ram, mostly in uh, challenges as well um very good card so i do think that now it's going to be a lot more balanced i think we're going to still see it but it's definitely not going to be seen as much um especially since the night witch suffered such a huge nerf guys and i feel like the night witch was huge and paired off so well with the battle ram so i don't think we're going to see that as much the graveyard in my opinion suffered one of the biggest nerfs this um on this balance change because not only did the reduction of two skeletons occur which in my opinion translate to about 10 percent of the damage that it would deal um now you know ice wizard is going to be able to one shot those skeletons and not only does ice wizard do splash damage but it's also sort of tanky like the the damage from a poison is not really going to effectively kill that ice wizard. It's going to be able to live inside of that graveyard for a long time and effectively defend against it. Um, the mini P.E.K.K.A. in my opinion was a huge uh, buff guys because now it's going to be able to one shot things like the Night Witch, Electro Wizard, uh, Regular Wizard, Musketeer, etc. So to me that was a big buff. The fact that Night Witch is not going to be so valuable now, we're probably going to see a lot more of the Mini P.E.K.K.A. as well. Um, the Heal spell was a big nerf in my opinion. I think it's still going to be useful, but now it's going to take a lot more skill just because you got to time it really effectively because the poison does last for a pretty you know long time. So the heal only lasting for 2.5 seconds now, it's going to make it, you know, a lot easier to poison out the opponent's cards. Um, I think that we are going to see more of Siege just because of that little, you know, buff of making it take uh, 3.5 seconds instead of 4. It's going to be able to target onto the tower, which in essence is what Siege players are looking for. They want the Siege card to uh, target into the tower and not into the opponent's tank that they might place, you know, on their side of the arena to try to tank those shots. So we might see it more. I don't think it's that, you know, drastic. I don't think we're going to see it so much, but I do think we're going to see it more. Um, the bats change from five to four. I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference, especially since the ice wizard is going to be able to one shot them. Now, um, the dark prince, in my opinion, is going to be seen a lot more. Um, it's now going to be able to kill, you know, a musketeer. So if the opponent plays a three musketeer, you could just go and use a dark prince on the side that they have two musketeers and it will effectively uh, defend against those musketeers. So yeah, guys, those are my opinion on these changes coming up. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the balance changes. Did it affect you and your playing style a lot? Um, did you like these changes? But yeah, guys, as you guys can see, the legendary chest right there, what are we going to get? Try to guess it on the comments, guys, and stay tuned for the next video because we'll open that legendary. And whoever guesses it right is going to get a shout out in the next video, okay? Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to leave your like and your comments, guys. And uh, make sure to subscribe for more Clash Royale.